Ridge Runners. Looks open to me. the battery lasts long enough for me to film everything I want to film. I'm kind of worried about the battery. I'm supposed to have at least 90 minutes of filming on this, but I don't know if I have that anymore. How are you doing? Good. What beverages do you have? What are you looking for? Uh, I have Pepsi products. Have Pepsi products? What Pepsi product? Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Cranberry, Ginger Ale, Lemonade, Sweet Tea, Mountain Dew. All of Mountain Dew, please. Do lemonade? Yes. I'll have a lemonade. Okay. Well, let's take a look, Tyler. What do you think? We got, we got some wings, we got nachos. Huh, you know, do you think I should get a new phone? I think I should get a, maybe get a new phone and switch to Credo Mobile. I don't think Verizon is very progressive. I don't know, because I can't change the plan, I don't know. Otherwise, you have to pay about $3,000 in termination fee. Oh, real? $3,000? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty expensive if you get rid of a phone on your plan. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Um, maybe you don't have to get rid of a phone. Maybe you can just get a get a new phone from Credo Mobile. I could show you when we get home. I'll have to think about it, okay, honey? Okay, thanks. Um, let's see what we got to. Uh, 
the fish taco sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good for you. Yeah. And the brisket mac and cheese sounds good too. You can get that if that's what you want. All right. That's fine with mine. It can't be it can't be as salty as anchovies. That was salty. You're probably right on that. Hey, uh, you wanna take a selfie? Um Thank you. That's some good Mountain Dew. <laughs> What do you think? I can get mashed potatoes inside. Um, what kind of trucks do they advertise? I don't what think they. What? Trucks? What? what kind of automobiles do they advertise? I don't think they advertise the best automobiles. <laughs> I saw that on that phrase on Facebook. Yeah. The liver isn't being punished, the pancreas is. Because oh. <laughs> this is not alcoholic, it's a soft drink. I should get onions. What? Um, I think I'm ready. I'll have the fish tacos and the mac and cheese brisket, please. Absolutely. All at the same time? All at the same time, please. And do you have any desserts in case I manage to finish everything? I do. So I have an MMM cookie sundae, which is right there. And I also have the vanilla bean panna cotti with raspberry like a raspberry sauce. Raspberry sauce? Yeah. So you've got a couple options. So you can think about it, Ty. Okay, I'll think about it. Those sound pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to have a cheeseburger with Swiss cheese. Uh, well done. And can I substitute a side? There's a couple of them, right? It comes with house chips, but you can do something else. Um, to let them wear a little bit of an upcharge. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind the upcharge. Um, can I get a... Um, Onion strings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I didn't have that. I think I'll try that. Okay, Thanks, thank guys. you. You're welcome. Oh, you know, uh, on Valentine's Day, I went to the Willy Wonka. I went to the Willy Wonka. Wow, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Wow. What, what's that? We went to see the uh, Athena as a musical one time. You well, uh, at Harrison, they had a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory theme. Wow, for Valentine's Day, I ended up, I ended up getting quite a bit of food to the, excuse me, to the point where I had to rush to get to my comparative politics class at 5 p.m. I managed to get there on time, which is a good thing because I had an exam on that day in comparative okay. politics. Wow, well, that's a good thing. I think I did pretty I good. That, I think I did pretty good. Good. Okay, you think you did good on your exam? Yeah. Okay, that's good, honey. That sounds good. Uh, then uh, today I had an exam in my intro to sociology class. Our usual professor wasn't there that day. Instead, the chair of the sociology department was there. Oh, was he sick or something? Uh, maybe he had something to do. Maybe he had to go out of town. Oh, maybe. Because a lot of people have spring break now. A lot of people have spring break? Yeah. I don't think I do. Yeah, how do you find out when your spring break is? It's in March. Oh, it is for sure? Because yeah. Rihanna's is too. Rihanna's is in March too? Do you know what? When, when in March it is? It starts on March 10. 
On March 10th? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right around my birthday. Uh, then I had a movement assessment in my African dancing class. I did a, uh, the, my professor said I did great and a good job on that. I tried my best on that. I, I, I practiced quite a bit right before it. We rehearsed two times for it, the whole class. I was in the Brockport group. Also, I, I studied for my sociology exam by watching crash course videos on sociology, whatever ones I thought would be helpful. And uh, I also read my textbook before the exam as much as I could. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I I took I took my time on those. You took your time on your exams. Yeah. Are you getting any help with your like extra time or anything? Or no? Do you have any services in place? Uh, not much, but I don't really need it. Yeah. Are you able to transfer the things to the scan sheets? Okay. Yeah. So you don't even need help anymore, right? Yeah. Are you, are you doing good on your exams? Yeah, I'm, th I'm doing good on my exams, I believe so. I'm, I'll have to get the scores back. Okay. That's good. Glad to hear that. That's good. Let's see. Although I asked my comparative politics professor if he could fill in the Scantron for me, the answers. Not because I can't fill in the Scantron, but because uh, because I had taken quite a bit of time to do the comparative politics exam. What did he say? He, he said no. He said he can't? Uh, no, he ref he refused to do it. Do it. Did you did you have enough time to do it? Yeah, I had enough time to do it. Oh, because they must not know you have services, Tyler. He doesn't? No, must be not. That's why you got to talk to that Sherry lady. Oh. Okay. Because she's got somebody's got to let him know that you need those, but you don't need it. Did you do okay? Yes, I did. Definitely did it okay at least. I'll have to get the scores back. All right. Well, let me know what your let me know what you, how you turned out. How, how what kind of a grade you got? Okay. Okay. If you're if you're having a time issue and you and you always had like the accommodations, then they should carry over to your college. So if you need those, we gotta figure out. We need to talk to uh, your support person, Sherry. Do you okay. want to contact her? Yeah, I have the email. Alright, because we got a, because you always had services before. Right. So if you're having a, if you need a little extra time, let me, um, Yes, please. Thanks. Post it on Facebook. Okay, you know, you and Dad have different personalities. I've been trying to get Dad to do a selfie too, but he doesn't want to do it. Dad doesn't want to do a selfie? Why? I don't know. I'll have to try again. I'll have to keep trying till he does it. He doesn't like to post his picture on Facebook, huh? Uh, I, he doesn't have a Facebook because I I used his I used his email address to make my Facebook account. <laughs> you did. And I tr and I tried to make a Facebook account using my email address a while ago, but I wasn't really able to. Oh. That's that's basically like making two Facebook accounts, which is unusual. So you can't I just make one and put your middle name in it and make it a new one like Tyler James Mackey. What? You can't just change your name slightly to like Tyler James Mackey because you got you should change your birthday. Oh yeah, my yeah my birthday's wrong on that Facebook account. Because when I made my Facebook account, I wasn't old enough to have a Facebook account. That's true. 
but the birth date on my YouTube account is correct. Yeah. All right. Wasn't one of them kind of blurry? Yes. Yeah. Hope I did the right one. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> excuse me. Okay, I paused it. You know, I had to, they had candy bags d during that, wow. They had candy bags? Yeah, you could put candy in a bag. I ended up having to, I, I ran out of time. I was so tight on time, I ended up having to put o some of my Oreos, some vanilla Oreos and some lobster ravioli in the candy bag. And I, and I ate the lobster ravioli in my comparative politics class, which... Which wasn't a problem. I think uh, I finished the candy bag before my intro to sociology exam. Also, I'm working on the red lobster, Dan Hammy. Red lobster? What's he gonna eat at Red Lobster? Uh, Dan Hammy got an insanely large order at Red Lobster. You'll ha you you have to see it to believe it. He got he got several on he got more than one entree, several appetizers, several desserts, wow. something insane even by my standards, basically. Wow. But it's not really too insane since I had him had him eat, eat an entire kitchen at one point in the series. Uh, you know, the Red Lobster, it's supposed to be based off the Red Lobster in Doral, Florida, but I've never been to that Red Lobster, so I have no idea what that Red Lobster looks like. But it's okay because Dan Hamming doesn't exist in real life, so to create Dan Hamming is to imply that the Dan Hamming series takes place in some kind of alternate universe that's similar to ours. This one's yours. Okay, because I don't want you to drink out of mine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Is that your pot? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you said you had a cold. I'm glad we went somewhere today, you know? Yeah, me too, Tyler. Say, so you mind filming me for a minute or two? Sure, honey. Let's see. It just does it go automatically? Yeah, it goes automatically. It's already filming. Oh, okay. Hi, Ty. What's up? Oh, it's good. Yeah, how's your day so far? Oh, it's been good. Good. I'm glad you got school done. You got an extra day off. Yeah. That's I can't believe you only have one class on Fridays. Yeah, only one class on Friday. Wow, and they're, they're not having it tomorrow, you said. Yeah, I'm not having so it tomorrow. So you get to come home for the weekend, right? Yeah, right now, basically. Good, I'm glad to hear that, Tyler. That sounds excellent. I got my stuff packed in the laundry basket, you like do? always. You do? Okay. That's good, honey. I'll make sure we get your laundry done. Oh, yeah, and I filed my nails today. Good, good job. I'm liking it. Excellent. Did I do a good job? Yeah, it looks like. It looks like you did okay. 
Yeah, we've been doing the Sophia dance in my African dancing class. I'll have to show you. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm not very a very good dancer, but I'm willing to try to learn. Not a very good dancer. How can you say that? Anybody can dance, basically. Well, yeah, I'm better at, like, the freestyle dancing. I'm not very good. What's that? Who are you having a drink? I was having Mountain Dew. I'll just have water. Water? That's not what I'm It was lemonade, but you want water? Okay. Thank you. Good, Tyler. I probably should have switched to water too, but hey, it's a special occasion. And besides, there's free refills, so. Hey, oh, you, you said you were hungry, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yep, so far so good. Uh, you and I say yep a lot, I think. We probably do, huh? <laughs> wow, yep, checking it out. Oh, I just said it again. Nothing wrong with doing that, saying yep. <laughs> Oops, I just said it again. <laughs> it's kind of hard not to say that, isn't it? Like, it's a habit. It is a habit, you're right. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm like wow. Just like it's a habit for Dan Hamming to say certain phrases, like, like uh, I'm not sorry when he really means to say I'm sorry, and the even more famous catchphrase... What? I said, has he cleaned up his act yet? Nope. He still says that bad word. Oh, I'm considering replacing it with a with a fudge. How funny would that be? That would be good. That would be acceptable. They're just, um. Mm, yeah, but you found you found that running gag to be funny. I'm just asking if it would be funnier to replace it re replace the word with a fudge. What would be funnier? Would be funny, I think. Would it be funnier to replace it with fudging? Yeah, you could say fudging, or you could say freaking, or freaking. Oh yeah. Th those are the two. What do you think? Maybe you should do a poll. A poll? And like ask your readers what they would prefer or how they would feel about it. Your viewers. Oh, my viewers. Yeah, your viewers. Well, there are ninety-three. There are ninety-three episodes up on my YouTube channel. The 94th one is just about just about done. I just have to decide if I need to make any more tweaks or not. And uh, the 95th one, there's still more work to be done on it. Did you ever get rid of that one I didn't approve of? I haven't got, gotten rid of it yet. Uh, I know you don't like it. That's that's why I'm working I'm working on more episodes. Oh, you fixing it? Trying to edit it so it's a little bit more appropriate? You know, if, if no, if 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 you don't if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. You know. I just other people might watch it. I don't get the wrong Oh. The the more inappropriate it is, the more likely it is to 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 basically get reported. But what? But one of the one of the most most appropriate Go Anime videos ever, Caillou Strawberry Strawberry 
trip strawberry picking gone wrong. That was one of the most appropriate GoAnimate videos ever. One of the most appropriate hobbyist GoAnimate videos ever, and it still got got deleted off of YouTube. Really? I, yeah, I guess somebody didn't like it. It wasn't that inappropriate. Is it one of yours? No, it's not one of mine. It had four million views. It seems the it seems like the more views you get, the more likely it is to get to get falsely reported off YouTube. That's probably true because then there's more people that might have an opinion and they don't like it. More people that see it. Uh, the more people that see a video, the more likely they are to get seriously offended by it. And uh, and then and then though it's not the they that gets the video deleted off YouTube. It's it's I guess the YouTube staff because they have to review reports before anything like that can happen. I wonder what the YouTube staff didn't like about the strawberry picking video. You can still see the see that video on YouTube. It's just not the original version. They had to edit it. No, it's pretty much intact. It's just not it's just not the original owner anymore. That's interesting. I want to upload it eventually because it's my video, but I'm but I'll wait until I have more until I have more episodes complete because I realize your concerns. I want to show that um, I have no bad intentions. So I'm going to wait until I have more episodes done before I do upload it. Well, you might want to, you probably should edit it, Tyler, and change it. You could probably change it so people wouldn't think it was You could change it. Yeah, I, I might need to make some slight tweaks to make it more realistic. I think there's, I think there's some problem uh, in which uh, it might look like, it might look like Dan Hamming's feet are kind of close to the car as it drives off. That's the one issue I found with it so far. I'll have to view it again. Okay. Excuse me. That would be a good, right? Right. Um, well, you know, that Dan Hamming thing, it's just a hobby, you know. I don't mean anything wrong by it. Yeah, I know that. I know you. Other people. Yeah. People don't know you, I know you. Right? Yeah. So it's like, well. I hope none of my videos. I got that. Thank you. Garlic bread is pretty good. Mm -hmm.
Here's the brisket. It is good, it's delicious. Mmm, and the mac and cheese is even better. The brisket is a combination of bacon and steak.